Hello everyone, it's Jim Richards, your Neon Painter. Um, yeah, it's June 2019, just created a piece behind me, it's about 35 by 35 inches. Uh, I put a video on before about the procedure that I used in painting it, um, and uh, you know, I wanted to share that with you, uh, you know, out there. Um, but basically wanted to show you the piece and uh, you know, how it, how I create the pieces and what they look like when they're, when they're done. Uh, this piece behind me is currently drying right now, so it's still even in process as I'm speaking to you. Um, and I'm really excited to share the, the technique and procedure I use when I paint these pieces. Um, you know, I don't use a lot of brushes. Um, I, you know, like using my hands. I like uh, the energy of, of splashing. I, I don't like to be contrived and restricted when I'm painting. I like to have the movement and the, 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 what I'm doing. So um, that's you know how I like to paint. It leaves a lot of mess. Uh, you guys can't see my studio floor right now, but it's just horrible. Um, but that's okay because I'm willing to put up with that to get the results. And um, you know I'm I just I'm glad for all you collectors out there that are collecting my Jim Richards works. Um, you know I'm I'm happy that you guys uh, are enjoying your pieces and that you're supporters of my work. Um, you know in the neon. Um, I, I love I love the color palette of these bright colors, and uh, you know I, I you know I don't want to be restricted as an artist to use you know um, colors that I'm not comfortable with, and you know that's why I, I you know I feel good when I create these pieces because you know I really feel that they're they're good pieces and and they reflect what I'm feeling at the time you know so um, you know it's 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 something that. You know, and with all the things that are going on in the world right now, I, I just love the energy. A lot of times I take out my, my anger or my frustrations or my depression or whatever it is in my work. And uh, it's really a, a quite a relief, but it's not just a, a relief physically to make these pieces. It's when I'm standing back and looking at the piece, I want to create it in, in, a, in, in a very um, constructed format where it does tell a story of what's going on in my life and that's something where it's I guess it's confusion but it's it's confusion in a very organized way um, you know and that's why if it doesn't speak to me when I'm done the piece or as I'm uh, getting close to the completion of the piece you know I won't release the piece it has to have um, you know that message in it you know that I'm trying to convey and um, you know that's sometimes hard to do and you know as an artist I I'm challenged with that all the time and there's a lot of pieces I don't release there's a lot of pieces that I destroy um, you know so it is a very messy process uh, not every piece is as uh, is uh, what I would call uh, you know resemblant of what I what I'm trying to convey in, in my piece so um, maybe I'm critical but you know I have to feel strong about the piece I create. So this piece is done. You know, like I said, it's about 35 by 35, 36 inches. Um, so it's a square piece. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, again, like I mentioned before, different sizes, different shapes, different things. Well, you know, will be a different kind of um, creative process for me. Um, but this one here, uh, square, which I, which I tend to like square uh, pieces. Uh, they're very uniform. Um, and I like that because you have the uniformity, but then you have the, you know the, the mayhem and the, the the you know just the, the raw energy inside of it which i really like you know and um that's something that really um turns me on um rather than just you know 24 by 36 inch uh, kind of shape so um yeah either way and as you can see right now the the piece is drying so as it's drying right now you're getting these lovely colors bleeding into each other and they're kind of dripping into each other and causing this kind of, you know, smorgasbord of, of just beautiful uh, pigments just bleeding into each other. Um, so, I mean, even this green bleeding into this neon yellow, just fabulous, um, you know, just fabulous. You've got something so, con, you know, constructed and something just kind of leading into it. I'm just really excited about that. So either way, the, complete, the piece is done. Thank you for uh, coming by and uh, I will keep you, uh, uh, you know more more videos for you guys to see my work and uh and this is on canvas by the way this is acrylic on canvas we have spray paint elements in here um and uh spray paints are more of i'd say an accent uh you know primarily it's acrylic and uh you know it's it's 
I, I love working in acrylic. Um, it's it's quick drying for the most part. Not as you can see here, it's still you know taking its time. But um, I like working with the acrylic. I like the vibrancy. I like the texture of it. Um, you know, and uh, you know, I love when the colors blend in the acrylic. So I like that aspect, and I also like to apply the paint um, rather uh, heavily, and um, I like that, you know, because it, I feel it captures a little bit more of the emotion when I'm going into the canvas uh, rather than just something really, really flat. So I really try to get that in there too. So thanks for coming by, guys, and there's the finished piece. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an energy piece again, another one of my energies, green, uh, you know, energy neon series, uh, you know, neon uh, paintings that I do. And there you go. So thank you, and uh, glad you can stop by. Thanks.